As far as what men want, it's the simplest thing. Okay. Just a game, you know, some good food, some sex. Yeah. And to be left alone, as Erica would say, some yeah. alone time. You yeah, know. no, Erica, I was going to say, they want, they want to be alone or they want a sandwich. <laughs> you want to know how to connect with men, right? Mm. Well, I can help you open your inner portal. So do you think we overcomplicate it? Is that the thing? Like, we think too far into what they want? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I might write that down, take some notes. But I still go with, like, now this is how simple-minded I am. I believe, because we are all survival-oriented, and we all sort of go with the best way we know how to survive, that's what we all base all, all of our behaviors on. Like, this is the best I can do, the best way I can imagine to survive right now, based on my life experience. So it's about survival and safety, and men, in my mind, um, have either, are very fight or flight. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's our very fight or flight. So, like, the game playing suggests that they're in it because they think it's gonna win. They think they've got an edge. If they don't got a hedge, I get that. I, whereas I think women will feel it out, massage it more, mm -hmm. and like see kill them much more. I think. If you guys could get into the mind and read any celebrity, who would it be? Oh. I say Beyonce right off the bat, but who would it be? That's a, that's an incredible mind right there. You really want to get? I do because she doesn't reveal a lot, so I want to know like what she's actually thinking and how she. I'm telling you, it's a lot of like I was like, oh, I hate this mayonnaise. <laughs> and like you know, like I, I was like, that floor is pretty. Like <laughs> I know that there's a lot of other good stuff. In my mind. That's, I, 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 if I think about what I actually think about, it's like, that wall, I wonder how thick it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, anybody? I want to get in Tracy Morgan's mind okay. sometimes. Oh, that's a good one. Because he, <laughs> yours? Like. <laughs> he is all over the place. And, you know, I didn't really get any scenes with him, but I've heard Taraji speak about it, and I've worked with Tracy before. He does go off books sometimes, but where he goes. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. And you can see it in the movie, but it makes it so he's funny. He's so funny. He's like a genius. He, he's he, so funny. He is. I don't, you know, I, I think that he sort of looks at the world. Oh, God, I love this man so much. He looks at the world, and then it just takes a sharp right. <laughs> like, and then, like, it was like, well, the thing I'm looking at has nothing to do with what I'm thinking about. Like, it, it's just like, I, I don't, it's just amazing. He's amazing. And the most sweet, optimistic, kind, emotional yeah. soul. Oh my God, so sweet. When I get, when I t asked him to do the movie, he broke down in tears and he hugged me. He said, oh I just want to do so good for you. That's, oh, that makes my heart melt. Yeah. yeah. Seriously, especially with everything that he's been through. I know that that was really a blessing for him. Well, thank you guys so much for your time. I really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you.